One of the biggest things most Americans are going to be hearing about and thinking about as we get closer to the 2016 election time is jobs. Corporate dinosaurs have downsized the workforce and governments around the world are going broke. And those who are fortunate enough to have traditional corporate jobs are working more hours for less pay and are simply unhappy and unfulfilled, going through the motions day in and day out just to earn a paycheck. There's no motivation or incentive to go out of your way to be creative and do good work. People work corporate dinosaur jobs because they feel they have to, not because they want to. Even though most of us have been told that after you graduate from school, you need to get a job with a big corporation, which provides financial stability and possibly a chance to climb the corporate ladder, the game has changed drastically. Giant corporate dinosaurs are quickly being replaced with smaller startup companies headed by creative people who aren't looking for cogs in their system. Instead, they're creating opportunities for other ambitious individuals who want to produce great work and be rewarded well. Also, the internet and social media have changed the rules and the way the game is played. Many ambitious and creative people are using technology and the ability to reach millions in order to build new age companies that bring art, education, inspiration and opportunities into the world. However, where most get stuck is how to get started. How to find your niche, the thing that you love and which you can share with others who may be willing to invest in you, your art, your product or your service. That's what we're going to help you with. Most of us have been led to believe that work should be a self-sacrificing drudgery. That following your passion, doing work that you love is a pipe dream. But I don't believe this to be true, and it sure hasn't been my experience. For example, there are a lot of fitness professionals out there, and I can tell you firsthand that most people don't look at personal training or coaching as a real job, even though personal training is one of the fastest growing professions. It's the same with artists, musicians, etc. But I knew fitness was my passion. This was my calling. This is what I was meant to do. And to try to sit in a cubicle or do otherwise would simply suck the life out of me. Today, Strength Camp has not only been a blessing in my life, but through it I've been able to create opportunities for other motivated, passionate, creative people. And today we inspire millions of people worldwide through fitness videos, education, and coaching. What is your calling? What do you feel you were meant to do? And who were you meant to serve? Answer that question and you'll know what your non-job is. If you're here, you have a burning desire to follow your passion and pursue your calling to be and do something great for yourself and others. I want you to know that you're amongst a group of like-minded people here in the non-job community. You aren't going to follow conventional wisdom because you know that that way of life no longer exists in our world. And it's not what you've been put here to be or do. The biggest sticking point for most of you is how to get started. And that's where a lot of people get stuck, in the how. And what most people need is reassurance and permission to just go for it. It's your life after all. You're going to be spending the majority of your time doing this, so wouldn't it make sense to take your time and define exactly what it is you want and how you're going to get it? This is the first video I'm going to share with you over the course of the next few weeks that's going to completely change your perspective and give you the starting tools and understanding on how to take control of your life and finally get started with your non-job by doing work that you love and serving the world.